Hey guys, welcome to my window. I am holding my camera so I'm so sorry if this is going to be a bit shaky and if I move around a lot, I'm going to try to not. My Christian household was sort of what you would think is a typical one. Like I was growing up in primary school age, I was going to church like every single week with my mum. It wasn't every week, we did take breaks, life did happen. So all growing up until the end of high school, I have been going to church. I used to do altar serving in primary school and a little bit of high school. So about year nine, I think I stopped altar serving. I thought it was really fun at the start in primary school. And then the more the years went on, I just kind of got sick of going. <laughs> I used to do altar serving with one of my best friends who is still my best friend. And quite funny enough, I think still does altar serving even though she's now graduated from high school. But there was a point in my life where I had a crush on a guy. And his family went to church every single Sunday. So... I wanted to go to church Sunday, but my family only went to church on Saturdays at 6pm because my mum is a mother of four kids, so it was easier to go to church at night time than it was to go at like 10am on a Sunday and try and wake me up, which before I had my surgery, it took me like an hour to get ready. So around the house, we didn't have that many like Jesus stuff. We had little doodads. We had a tiny little poster that mum kept up on like the microwave. I don't even know if you would call it a poster. Mum wears a cross necklace. Parents have very strong beliefs of Jesus, but just doesn't show it all around the house. My dad would watch the church on TV though because he was too disabled to go to actual church. For me, I can't really remember praying at meals at a young age until I got older. I know before I was born they did it with my sister, which is their first ever child. <laughs> but the more that I'm sure you get kids, the more you just want to get them to bed and have a new time. <laughs> we started praying again at the table when I was about 18, I think it was. And again, it wasn't like an every night thing. It was kind of like a once in a blue moon thing. <laughs> Growing up, I heard so much bad talk about the LGBT because my father is very close-minded and very verbal with his beliefs, whereas my mom just stays quiet and turns her head. So because I'm not straight, that absolutely sucked. And you can watch my coming out story up there. Hopefully I got the right side of the camera somewhere up there. Oh, and growing up and hearing that the world is going to end soon when like things bad were happening, I got kind of sick of that hearing up. Hearing that growing up, I'm not going to lie. Sorry, I'm looking at a script, so if you see me looking that way, also stuff about trans, actually. So a little story. When my friends started to come out as trans, I was quite uneducated and I said all the wrong things and I did hurt them. I did later on apologize because I didn't realize that the things I was saying was actually really mean. Growing up in a Christian household, I've heard that much stuff about Jesus that I'm a little bit overhearing about like, the world's gonna end and Jesus is this and Jesus is that because it was everywhere and I just <laughs> hated it. And the main reason for that is because of my father and I will get more into that. Like my dad is a huge diehard Christian. Things that don't go with my father's way, you're going to get yelled at. Whereas my mom, like I said, she just stays quiet and turns her head. My mom is actually a really lovely lady who a lot of people adore. Whereas my dad, a lot of people don't really like him because of how verbal he is with his views. And how he'll kind of give you this look of if you just saying something, he'll kind of just go. It's so annoying. <laughs> I don't really like my dad and you'll probably get that throughout this video that I don't really like him. <laughs> Growing up he would yell at the TV if something was on, like if there was for example gay marriage on, he would yell at the TV and yell at my mom and be like come here, come here, come here and keep yelling until she went to him and she would be in the next room over, literally, she would be in the next room over and she and for example, one time dad was like, come here, come here, come here. Mom was cooking dinner, so she couldn't really leave the stove. And dad just kept saying, come here, come here, come here. Mom was like, no, I'm cooking. And he's like, pretty much like, I don't care. Come here, watch this. Look at this stupid thing that's on TV. And mom would just be like, ugh, I've got to go. Or else dad wouldn't be quiet. Because, you know, you've got to really verbalize your views. See, the reason why I don't really like my dad is because... Me and him are two type of people where we're in the same room for too long, we bump heads and there's a fight because he fights back and I do too. I don't take shit. <laughs> I went to a Christian primary school and high school as well and if you've heard of a Christian 
primary or high school, you know what they're like. My primary school kind of from memory spoke about Jesus so much and my high school really didn't. So my high school in religion, we learned more about other religions than our own religion. We didn't have like Bible reading class or anything. Honestly, I have no memory really of reading the Bible. And in high school, we would also pray at assemblies, of course. We always had prayer at assemblies, prayer at the starting of the class, prayer at homeroom, which is the first class of the day. And then you go up to your other classes. Even sometimes the teachers didn't like to do that though, so we kind of didn't do that a lot. <laughs> Catholicism is a lot to learn about anyway, like if you've read some of the Bible, which I've had, and spoiler alert, uh, one part of it talks about two girls, two girls who I think were drunk and got their father that drunk and they had their way with him, is the most sim simplest way to put it, and they fell pregnant. Catholicism. Catholicism. I only really have the same basic understandings as everyone else does with Catholicism. Like, I know the holidays because I celebrate them and I love them. That's my upbringing. And I know the holidays and I know, like, some prayers and stuff and all that stuff you really need to know. But when it goes into, like, if it's the deep religion, I can't tell you about that. We didn't really read the Bible in church either. But going on about church... Okay, I'm gonna read off the script, I'm sorry. When you think of church, you think super boring, and yes, some are. The ones you think of where the people just talk and just have the piano playing, and a lot of the churches are like that. But also some churches have drums and guitars, and they have like a whole band there, and they had really, really nice catchy music, actually. <laughs> From my experience, I've been to maybe four or five churches while growing up. The main one is the primary school church, Everyone there is lovely and because they're all older people, they're super nice. And then the one that I went to in primary school was also a little group for people primary age where you can just go to craft and like after school activities type thing. I can't really, don't really know how to explain it. Uh, but we could also do plays as well and sing and it was called Kids Club. I forget what days that church was on though. I think that was on a Wednesday, Sunday. And this church had the band. Another church where my dad played the drums at. This is a community meal church. But everyone there is really nice because I know everyone. And with the community meal church, the food was amazing. I'll get more into that soon. There weren't any dramas in any of these churches unless you were in the actual community like my dad was. Then you heard about the dramas. They also had a singer who is a family friend. He also plays a guitar as well. Really nice music. Never music that would send you to sleep. Like, I properly loved that community meal church. We did pray before we ate at this community meal church as well. The other church I've been to had a playground, but it was another community meal church. But let me tell you about the food, finally. You might think of stuff yuck, but for example, the food, the best food I've ever had at a community meal was... Ice cream and Tim Tams. That was for dessert, clearly. We've had pudding, we've had fish and chips, had trifle, we've had fruit salad. We've had fruit salad, I think, offered to us quite a bit, possibly. You could always choose what you wanted as well. Like, if you were allergic to ice cream and just wanted fruit salad, you could always do that. For dinner, they would always give you, like, some type of veggies and meat and just something else. And that just really sums up a huge part of my life. Am I really close to my Christianity right now? No, because my father annoyed me with all the Jesus talk and, like, you're going to hell if this happens and, like, the world's gonna end soon and all that fun type of jazz that you can guess everything. But I know that I can do my Christianity my own way, and my boyfriend has also said that to me, which is true. But also, I'm part of LGBT, so I don't know if I can still be a Christian. So I'm a little bit, like, I don't want to lose that part of me, but there is a part where Christianity and LGBT just don't mix, and that's where I truthfully struggle the most. But that's fun. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'm sorry this video isn't the best video that I've put up, but it's a video I really wanted to get out there and I really wanted to get right, so that's why I scripted like every single word and why I read things word for word. It might have been so boring, but if you've stuck around this far, thank you. Bye. Any questions too, feel free. Comment down below.